Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do an unboxing and review of the Artillery Sidewinder X1 3D printer. This printer offers some great features at $400 price point. So let's see how it holds up. But first, let's get to the unboxing. Alright, here we have some paperwork and instruction manual. Then a nice little pouch of assembly tools and some spare parts. Next we have this pull holder, then the power cord. Now we have the fully assembled entire gantry and lastly the main printer base where all the electronics are mounted. Alright, now let's assemble the printer. Well, assembling this printer is super easy and it takes less than 10 minutes to assemble it. Only you need to do is just mount the gantry on top of the base with 4 screws. Then carefully plug all the ribbon cables and motor connectors. Next mount this pool holder on the gantry with screws and your printer is good to go. Now let's talk about the features. First of all, the design wise the printer looks really sleek and sturdy. It has the large 300 by 300 by 400 build volume. The access rails are made of solid aluminium extrusion while the X and Y assembly consist of 60 by 20 mm and the Z assembly consist of 40 by 20 mm. This printer features a 3.5 inch TFT color touch screen and this screen looks pretty bright and vibrant. Each submenus are divided by different colors which makes it easy to access all settings quickly. The Sidewinder X1 does support USB drive along with the micro SD card which is my personal favorite. The main highlight of this printer is the direct type titan extruder and the volcano style hot end. Basically in direct type printers the extruder motor directly connected on top of the hot end which minimizes the travel distance of the filament between the extruder gear and the hot end and this setup allows us to print the flexible filament more reliably. This printer comes with a large 300 by 300 mm ceramic coated glass bed. The heat bed runs on mains power that means the bed is heated directly with AC to 20 volts instead of commonly used DC 24 volts. By being AC heated the sidewinder can achieve fast heating and higher temperature. It takes approximately 45 seconds to heating from the room temperature to 60 degrees. The Sidewinder doesn't have the auto bed leveling feature that means you need to level the bed manually by rotating the knobs. The Z axis is operated by dual stepper motors with dual lead screws. The both lead screws are synced by a timing bell on the top which helps to reduce the wobble when printing the tall builds. This printer does have the filament runout sensor and it works flawlessly. I didn't get any false alarm yet. As you can see I cut the filament during the printing and after removing the filament from the sensor it gives a loud beep sound and the print stops immediately. And after inserting the filament the print starts again. This printer also have the power failure detection feature which allow you to recover the prints after the power outage. I think this is the most important feature for every 3D printer user. Alright guys, now it's time to do some test printing. When it comes to PLA, the Sidewinder X1 does more than the solid choice. First I have started with the 3D Benchy. And the print itself I think it's ok but there are some minor blemishes which can be fixed by tuning the settings. Next I have printed a twisty vase at 0.2mm layer height and it turned out really well. After that I printed the baby Groot at a much finer 0.1mm layer height and the level of detail here is mind blowing. When it comes to the temperature sensitive filament like ABS, the sidewinder can handle it really well. There is no warping off from the build plate. One thing I did notice that the heat bed doesn't provide the equal thermal dissipation and this can cause some addition problems when printing the large size objects with temperature sensitive filaments that are prone to warping. In terms of noise level, the Sidewinder X1 is super quiet compared to other 3D printers, only the fan noise is little bit audible. 
Now the question here, is this $400 printer worth it? And the answer is absolutely yes. Within this price point, you are getting a solid and slick design frame, larger build volume, direct drive extruder, fast heating bed and other useful features. Well, if you are looking for a 3D printer and expecting all the above features, then definitely you should buy this printer. I'll drop its purchase link in description where you can check it out. So that was my quick unboxing and review of this printer, hope you like it. If you did, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos. Also if you have any question regarding this printer, then let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, stay safe and peace out.